I mean, commercial television is much less constrained than public television. Public television is more liberal, uh, and it's therefore much more ideological and imposes much narrower constraints. They don't allow deviants. Uh, that's pretty constant. Uh, constant. Uh, but uh, yeah, they don't uh, want, uh, I mean, it's not in their interest to uh, have people talk about things like this. Uh, sometimes they're pressured and they'll allow a couple of minutes here and there. Uh, and it's kind of interesting the way it works. So uh, the television's mostly out except for commercial cable television. But uh, a radio is a little freer. The national public radio is considered the liber you know, the kind of outer limits of the left in the United States. Very small, but it's considered very dissident. And they're the ones with the sharpest restrictions by far. I mean, they won't allow a millimeter of deviation from the party line. Uh, but sometimes they are under pressure to do it. And it's interesting the way it works. So, for example, during the first Gulf War, I'm pretty well known around Boston, you know. And uh, that happens to be the center, the ideological center for national public radio. It's their flagship station and all that sort of thing. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of pressure there to let me be on now and then. So during the first Gulf War, they did approach me and they told me I would be allowed to have two and a half minutes. Uh, however, uh, they insisted that I write out what I was going to say, send it to the central office so they could ensure that it's you know, okay. Uh, and once they approved it, I had to read it. And they pre-recorded it to make sure that I wouldn't add a phrase that wasn't, uh, uh, you know, that went off the limits. Uh, the first time, I, I thought it was kind of ridiculous, but then so did the staff. The staff's mostly laughing, the engineers and so on. But uh, I did read it, and the first reading took two minutes and 36 seconds. Uh, so they told me, no, I've got to reread it. Uh, and uh, so I read it a little faster, got it into two minutes and 30 seconds, and then they actually did run it. Uh, and there are other things like that. I'll just mention one other case. Same National Public Radio again, the kind of left medium. Uh, they, they have a book review thing. Uh, and again, they're under a lot of pressure often to, say, to have something about books of mine. Around 10 years ago, there was a book of mine that was based on lectures over CBC. Uh, and it was actually a bestseller in Canada for years, but you know, nobody ever heard of it in the United States. It was never reviewed or anything. But there was pressure around Boston to get them to review that book. Okay, So they finally agreed. And we again had a pre-recorded five-minute uh, interview with uh, Robert Siegel, who's their big shot intellectual. Uh, and it was, it was actually announced. Uh, the, the, their main program, uh, called All Things Considered, starts at 5 o'clock, and then you know, every educated person is supposed to listen to it. Uh, and at 5 o'clock, they announced that uh, they were going to have a review of this book. Uh, the publishers, South End Press, called me up and said, oh, great, it's going to be on. Uh, it got to 5.30. It got to 5.25. At 5.25, the program stopped, and there were five minutes of music. You know. uh, at 5.30, when they move into the next segment, uh, they announced the next segment, and phone calls started coming in from all over the place, saying, you know, what happened to that five-minute review? And people, I wasn't listening, but people started calling me and saying, you know, what happened to the review? So after about 10 minutes, uh, I got a call from the manager of the whole thing in Washington, uh, who said, you know, something very strange. We're getting a lot of calls saying that your review didn't appear, but we know that it did. I see it right on my program here. So I said, you know, I don't know. don't know anything about it. About 10 minutes later, she called me back, very chagrined, and she said that she was overruled for the first time ever by the, some higher-up uh, who uh, heard the announcement in the first five minutes and uh, canceled it. Uh, well, you know, that caused quite a furor. She was very upset, you know, for a professional reason. They want to be overruled. And there was a lot of public reaction. So they finally agreed uh, to redo another five minutes, you know, pre-recorded, and that was the second one they actually ran. Well, that's off at the left liberal end of the spectrum. Uh, when you move to the more conservative commercial media, they're less constrained.